Within this video, we're just gonna get back to the basics to describe what metamorphosis is, how to follow the program, what to be aware of, and why so many love it. Hi, I'm Rachel. Welcome to Rundown with Rachel. Each week, I create content around the Tracy Anderson method and other things I'm doing to create a happier, healthier lifestyle. So if that resonates with you, would love for you to subscribe, join me in that. And of course, if you like this video, please be sure to smash that like button as the kids say. Just like it. If you like it, that'd be, that'd be great. What is metamorphosis? Metamorphosis is a program that Tracy Anderson came out with around 2010, and it's really a DVD series. In developing the program, Tracy identified four different body types. And based on the body type you identify with, that is the program you choose. There is a quiz that you can take to help you determine what your body type is, but there's also very simple definitions that may help you get to it even simpler. I myself took the body type quiz and I found that I was omnicentric, but in all reality, I do not identify as omnicentric at all. Instead, I am abcentric. So I will link the quiz should you want to take it, but if you find the results that for you really don't reconcile with what you identify with, go with your gut, go with what you think would be best for you. So on the Tracy Anderson site where you can buy these series, uh, they do a great job of explaining the program that there are four different incarnations of metamorphosis by Tracy, all dedicated to a different body type. You got glute centric, hip centric, ab centric, and omnicentric. Each version of this 90 day program includes four discs of muscular structure, nine workouts in total, uh, to transition through every 10 days. So let's say you're doing ab centric. You're gonna have nine different levels, and with level one, you're doing that for 10 days before proceeding to level two. Then complete 10 days, continue to level three, so on, so forth, until you complete the ninth level, and it ends up being a total of 90 days. So you complete each workout for 10 days. Um, they're designed to target problem areas and address the imbalances of each specific body shape. In addition, there's a cardio component, a, di a dynamic eating plan, and a measuring tape and chart to record your progress. Tracy asks that you spend an hour a day, six days per week exercising. Each workout includes 30 minutes of muscular structure work and 30 minutes of cardio. So in all reality, one hour a day is pretty reasonable, especially when you consider if you were going to a gym or a group fitness class, the amount of time it would take you to prepare to go to the gym, commute to the gym, all that would easily eat up 30 minutes as it is. So to manage an hour a day is very much reasonable. So let's get into the body types. It says here, Tracy customizes workouts for specific body types. Our bodies aren't all the same, so our, work, our workout shouldn't be either. And this really resonated with me because I would go to these hit classes and I would see people with all sorts of body types and we're all doing the same workout and it just really didn't make sense. So first we have abcentric. If you tend to gain weight in your midsection or have a thick waist, you are abcentric. The abcentric workouts are targeted to achieve a flat stomach with workouts concentrating on the lower stomach and back area. I most definitely have a thick waist. Even when I'm not bloated, I find my waist to be just thicker. I just am an apple shaped body as I've always thought. Then there's hip centric. If you're pear shaped, or a small waist with larger hips and thighs, you're hip-centric. Excess fat tends to store in your thighs, so the workouts chosen for this program are aimed to pull in the hips, lifting your butt, and getting rid of cellulite. Uh, now, side note, just because one program is designed to do one thing doesn't mean it's not built in the other workouts. So even though hip-centric is designed to reduce cellulite, doesn't mean that by going through abcentric, you won't have cellulite reduced. Then we have omnicentric. If you gain weight all over, then you're omnicentric. I mean, I think on some level we all gain weight all over, but let's get into this further. This body type sometimes makes it difficult to choose one specific area to focus on, so the workouts Tracy designed for the omnicentric body are perfect. A full body skin tuck. Anything that is droopy or loose about your body will be awakened, awakened, firmed, and lifted. And then the suggested equipment, you just need three pound hand weights, um, you need a nice foamed mat. Really, that's all you need for metamorphosis. But if you want to, definitely get ankle weights as even in the online studio, they're recommended. And plenty of people that follow metamorphosis will implement one and a half ankle weights. So it's one and a half ankle weights on each foot. Or you could even have an option for three pound ankle weights. Uh, at first, I found it very intimidating to use ankle weights, but you really get used to it and you notice much more of a burn. So those are the body types. Uh, hopefully that helps you uncover which you are. 
Um, when I've looked across the different programs, because you can see them on YouTube, I do have the DVD series, but I just kind of want to take a peek at how much different they are. And for the most part, there's a lot of similarities between the workouts, but they do vary to a point. So they are a little bit different. And I share that in the event that you're concerned or overly thinking about which lane you're going to choose. They have variables within them, but it's not earth shattering. So with that, you can see how important it is for you to identify which lane or which body type you have, and then really to plan to do an hour workout a day, six days a week. So you have the 30 minutes of muscular structure or mat workout, as we often call it, and then you have 30 minutes of dance cardio. Tracy does recommend that you do the dance cardio first before the mat workout, and she has some reasons for that, but really it's a matter of what works best for you. So that really covers what metamorphosis is and how to follow it. I also recommend that if you are getting into metamorphosis, be sure to watch the video intro as Tracy gives all sorts of great tips like turning off your AC so that you can really sweat and making it easier for yourself to work out. So to create a dedicated space for a workout. She also gives a little pep talk around making time for yourself to get that six days a week in and even measuring yourself and taking progress photos and researching for this video and brushing up on metamorphosis and the structure of the program. It's made me realize that I've taken my foot off the gas in driving for my Tracy Anderson method results. I haven't been taking progress photos, I haven't been measuring myself, and I've been skipping days now and again. And in recent videos I shared how there have been times where I've lost motivation and getting back on the wagon and all that, which I'm sure everybody experiences to some extent. But what I love so much about metamorphosis is the structure. You have different levels you're going to and you know where you're at and you know how far you have to go. And that's something I really miss that I don't get with online studio. Some other things you wanna be aware of if you are new to metamorphosis or you just want some tips. One, be sure to have great music because Lord knows that you will get that background music stuck in your head. You'll get it stuck in your spouse's head, your kid's head. It just, <laughs> it will embed in your mind. Uh, and it's just the same repetitive beat over and over. And I wouldn't recommend that on anyone. So be sure to get some great music. Uh, it probably is good for you to listen to Tracy's direction early on. But as you're doing the workout every day for 10 days, you will not need her instruction much more than after the first two workouts you have. And even with the instructions she has, it's very limited. Another thing to be aware of, this is not a walk in the park. There's gonna be moments where you think, how on earth does anybody do this? There is no way Tracy has a huge following because I'm gonna bet everybody throws in the towel. Well, everybody thinks that and works to push through it anyways. And that's why not only are you getting a great workout that's gonna bring great results to you, but also for your mentality, you're getting a great workout too, because it's gonna teach you to have greater determination and perseverance. Some other things to be aware of with metamorphosis is to really put emphasis on your moves. Um, what I mean by that is, recently a viewer commented that they found that the metamorphosis, the first level was quite easy. And it certainly can be depending on what your fitness level is, but you can make it as challenging or as easy as you want in many ways. So really be sure to emphasize the movements. So especially when you're doing the standing abs, be sure to tighten your core and really feel your ab muscles engaged. When you find the arm movements going, really be sure to get your arm engaged and really tight in it and act as if you're resisting something. And that way, it really adds to the experience, it adds to the burn and it adds to the results. But it's one of those things that unless somebody tells you that explicitly, you may not learn that. And be sure to track your progress. Uh, really measuring yourself and taking photos is the best way to do that because weight is so subjective. I mean, based on what you eat, you, you know, and the amount of sodium you have, you could gain five pounds overnight. And that can, of course, be discouraging. I personally do not weigh myself anymore just because it can just get into my head and it really doesn't help me. Whereas taking progress photos and measurements is a much better indicator. As with any of the Tracy Anderson method approaches, be patient with yourself. Everybody sees results differently and at different times, but as long as you stick with it, you will continue to see results. So during the times where I have had doubts about it, I've been encouraged so much to keep going and every time I'm so glad that I do. So be patient with yourself. 
And you really got to decide if you trust your, the program that you're going to give it your all and stick with it. Because it's just three months, which three months, especially nowadays, goes by so very quickly. So what do so many people love about metamorphosis? Really, it comes down to the customized workouts. It's taking into account your body type and addressing the areas that are of greatest concern to you. That's why so many people love it. It's also really nice to know where you're at in the process, that there's this journey and there's a finish line you're going towards. How exciting it is when you reach level nine and you realize that you've made it through all the most challenging levels and you've just pushed forward. And as great as that is, especially for what it can do for your physique, even more personally, I found that it's helped me push through other challenges. One being putting together a YouTube video every week. There's times where I do not feel like doing it. I don't feel like editing. I don't feel like outlining a topic, but I push through it. And that's something that I've learned so much from metamorphosis, especially because there's so many moves where I think there is no way I can do this. And then by the end of the 10 days, I am doing it really well, really strong. And it's helped with my sense of confidence and of course, determination. So that really covers it. We've talked through what metamorphosis is, how to follow metamorphosis, some points to be aware of, and of course, why so many love the program. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it's exactly what you need, especially if you're new to the metamorphosis journey. And if you'd like to continue seeing content I'm creating every week, please be sure to subscribe. If you liked the video, it mean the world to me if you liked it and go follow me on Instagram. So thank you so much and until next time. Smash that like button. Just like it, if you like it, that'd be, that'd be great, that'd be great. Don't you love when they say that?